What is up guys? Welcome back to another creek fishing adventure. Actually, this is more of a river than a creek, but uh, either way, we're gonna catch some fish. Got the Rapala on, the go-to, one of my all-time favorite lures for trout. We got brown trout, rainbow trout, and a few cutthroat trout in this river. So you know what, if we're lucky, maybe we'll catch all three. Do a little catch and cook taste test between them. We'll just have to see what happens. I got no plans. It's early morning. Got the whole day of fishing ahead of me. Let's get started. Oh, got him. No. That was just a little rainbow. Not a big deal. Oh, there he is. Got him. Oh, no way. It's a little brown. That's my tar. No. <laughs> That was my target species, brown trout. Ooh, I'm calling it. We're getting one right here. Come on. Oh, got him. There he is. He came up and got it. <laughs> hey, it's not my target species, nor the size, but uh, just a little rainbow. Yeah, definitely stocked. No doubt about it. There we go. First landed fish of the day. There he goes. Got him, got him. That's a better one. A little bit better one. It's just another stalker rainbow. Oh man, fish number two of the day. It's something at least. If I can, preferably I'd like to get a wild rainbow. There are wild rainbows in here and stocked ones, but the wild ones are really, really rare. Um, Cause this guy probably won't taste very good. It's probably pretty fresh out of the hatchery. This is looking good. Do I have a? I have a fish. Oh, are you? I thought that was a snag. I have a fish, you guys. Check it out. It is our target species, indeed. It is a little tiny brown trout. Shows you how aggressive these little buggers are. All right, see you later, babe. One day he's gonna grow up, become a seven pounder, and I'm going to return to this spot and I'm gonna catch him. And I'll recognize him, he'll recognize me. We'll both give a wink and a nod and I'll let him go. Oh, got him. Another stalker rainbow. Oh my gosh. Guys, I, most of the time when I come here, never catch stocked rainbows. But I think they recently stocked and now river's loaded with them. Usually catch a bunch of wild browns and big, healthy, fat, wild rainbows. At least I'm not skunked. Here we go. Ooh. ooh. Whoa, I just had a bite and I caught someone's fishing line what the heck I just had a bite and then I caught someone's fishing line what do we have here ooh what do we have here we got something oh sweet score you guys check it out looks like a fairly new it's not rusted fairly new panther martin spinner with a swivel Sweet, we'll throw that in the tackle box, maybe use it later on. Oh, there we go. Oh, yes, that's what I'm after. Look at that sucker. Oh, he smashed it. Oh, don't come off, don't come off. It's a big brown. Not big, but it's a, it's a, it's a good brown, man. Oh, yes. He crushed it. Here we go, guys. Here's what I've been after. Check it out. Look at that brown. Nothing too huge, but that is a solid quality, probably 15 inch brown. Look at that. <laughs> and look how we ate that Rapala. He freaking smashed it. Fat belly full of eggs, probably, maybe, I don't know. It's like he's got some kind of wound here under his fin there. I don't know what that's about, but uh, we're going to get this guy back to do his spawning or her spawning so we can have more of these in the future. Oh, and there he goes. He freaking unhooked himself and was like, I'm out. Oh, that feels good, guys. 
man, an hour of fishing later. Haven't been fishing for too long, only an hour. Caught a few stalkers. That's what we're after right there. I just had to let that guy go. Maybe we'll catch a nice fat rainbow to cook up later, but I don't know. Just didn't want to keep that guy. Let's keep casting, see if we can get another one. There we go. There's a nice fish. A little bit better one, a little bit bigger. Nice. Ooh, it's a brown. It's a brownie. Guys, I think we've got some lunch. That, that is perfect size. There we go. Check it out. We have dinner. I didn't want to keep one of those rainbows because uh, fresh out of the hatchery, they're going to taste like garbage. But a brown trout this size is perfect for eating. I wouldn't want to keep a big one. But this little guy, we're going to go ahead and keep. Well guys, this river didn't produce for me as well as I was hoping. So I'm going to move to a whole other body of water. See if we can catch some cutthroat trout. Let's go. Here we are folks, spot number two. It's a much smaller creek and it is crystal, crystal clear as opposed to that other river. And uh, in here we'll find Bonneville cutthroat and tiger trout. So I've got the little rainbow trout Rapala on. Let's see what we can get. All right, folks, here's the deal. That Rapala, I think was a little too aggressive for these small fish. So I'm gonna just try a little tiny piece of worm. I am fishing for the table, so it's okay if I, you know, gut hook some. Ooh, ooh, there's a trout. <gasps> got him, got him. You guys, that's a perfect keeping size, actually. Huh. So this creek, you guys might have seen me fish it before but the fish in here do not get very big at all. So this right here, believe it or not, is a good keeping size trout. And if you don't know, that is a Bonneville cutthroat. Uh, the state fish, actually. Beautiful fish, and uh, we're gonna keep this guy. All right, let's see if there's anything else hiding under there. All right, we're gonna gut the fish here. Fresh caught cutthroat trout. Literally caught him about 10 minutes ago. Go all the guts. Skin him up here real quick. There we go guys. Fresh caught Bonneville cutthroat trout. All skinned up, ready to go. All right folks, it's cooking time. I've actually found myself a tiny little cooking area surrounded by all these trees right next to the parking area. The creek is just over there and I found this nice little shady area to cook. So we have our two trout here. This is the cutthroat trout that I just caught. And here's the brown trout that I caught a little earlier in the day that I cleaned out. And this has some pretty pink meat and this cutthroat has some white meat. So it's gonna be interesting. This is fresher, this has pink meat. I don't know which one's gonna taste better. I've been, I've been surprised before, but we're gonna cook these guys up the exact same way, see how they taste. All right, there's our frying pan. And the first step to any catch and cook is butter. So we're gonna add some butter. And that should be good right about there. We're gonna add a pinch of salt and lemon pepper. And then we shall add the brown trout and the little cutthroat trout. Ooh yeah. Sprinkle a little more seasoning over this. Guys, this is something you just gotta try yourself. This is so much fun. Catching some fish near the creek and then just finding a nice little shaded spot like this out in the middle of the desert pretty much. And just cooking up your fish sitting back in your uh, camping chair. You guys gotta try this yourself. This is so much fun, honestly. All right, fish are done, cooked all the way through. There's a nice piece of brown trout. It just came right off the bone. Okay, the brown trout is good. About what I expected. I've had lots of red meat, pink meat, brown trout before. 
pretty standard, good fish. Let's try the cutthroat. I've had cutthroat from this creek before. They haven't been great. They've been good, but they're not great. All right, let's grab a nice piece of cutthroat trout. Comes right away from the bone, look at that. Wow, this cutthroat is really flaky. Really flaky. Mm. That's good fish, it really is. A little different texture. It's a little softer, a little mushier than the brown trout. That is really good, that is really good. I like that a lot. Let's grab some more brown trout. Nice slab of brown, look at that. Comes right off the bone. Drag it through some of that butter. Oh wow, that's hot. Mm. They both have their own unique flavor, they really do, but they're both really good in their own way. I don't know if I can even pick one. All right guys, I've come to a conclusion on the winner. We have the brown and the cutthroat, both good in their own way. I think today the winner will be the brown trout. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video as much as I did making it. Didn't catch as many fish I would have liked to. Didn't catch any big ones either. Fun day, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.